In this video, we will see how Hitler's aggressive policy of expansionism had finally paved way for World War II. The fall of Czechoslovakia and the failure of Munich Agreement had convinced the British and the French that appeasement had failed. Appeasement was the policy followed by Britain in the 1930s in attempting to settle international disputes by satisfying grievances through compromise and negotiations. Chamberlain's reaction when he heard the news from Czechoslovakia was to say, After this, I cannot trust the Nazi leader again. On 31st March, the British government stated that Britain would stand by Poland in case of war. British politicians had concluded that Hitler had to be stopped otherwise he would eventually challenge the existence of the British Empire. Similarly, the French Prime Minister Daladier decided that only war would stop Hitler from dominating Europe and controlling France. Hitler thought that Chamberlain and Daladier were bluffing. This situation led both France and Britain to look for an agreement with the USSR. However, on 24th August 1939, Stalin amazed the world by making a deal with his deadly enemy, Hitler. Within a few days of the signing of the Nazi-Soviet pact, the Second World War broke out. Now coming to the question, what had led Stalin to join hands with Hitler when Britain and France were also ready to open negotiations with the USSR? Certain factors were responsible for this. By September 1934, Soviet Union had joined the League of Nations. In 1935, communist parties across the world were ordered to stop trying to organize communist revolution. Instead, they cooperated with anti-fascist forces. During that period, the Soviet minister Maxim Litvinov was trying to build links with Britain and France to counter German threat. He believed in collective security to stop German aggression. On 17th April 1939, when Europe was on the brink of war, Litvinov outlined the basis for a treaty to France and Britain. This would involve all the three countries to defend the existing borders of the states of Eastern Europe in case of German attack and each country promised to help the other during war. It took Britain six weeks to reply to this offer, which Stalin did not like. He believed that Western allies were not serious about an alliance. Therefore, he decided to turn towards the most threatening force, Germany, for the deal. This led him to dismiss his Western-friendly minister Litvinov and appoint instead Molotov. Talks began between Soviets and Germans in May 1939. These were secret talks and Britain and France knew nothing about them. Publicly, he carried on his talks with the Western powers on 12th August, when they met at Leningrad, the Soviet delegates asked the British and French if they could ensure a right of passage for Soviet troops through Polish and Romanian territory. The British and French refused. The talks thus ended in failure. Two days later, after the talks broke down, on 23rd August 1939, Hitler sent his foreign minister, Ribbentrop, to Moscow. A non-aggression treaty was signed. Germany made it clear that if Soviet Union stayed neutral in the war, it will be offered control of vast areas of territory, including Finland, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, and parts of Belarus and the Ukraine that were ruled by Poland. Thus, they secretly agreed to divide Poland between them. Although Hitler had signed an agreement with the country he intended to invade, this was a short-term strategic crime as it would allow Germany to invade Poland without the risk of two-front war and later lead him towards achieving a goal of conquering the USSR. Now the question arises, why did USSR sign an agreement with Germany? Answer is, Stalin had signed this pact because he would not have to get involved in a war in the West. Already the Soviet army had been weakened through Stalin's purges. Stalin believed that Germany and the West would weaken each other in the war and then USSR would be left as the strongest nation. As a part of the deal, Stalin would get half of Poland without any effort. Internally, Stalin also knew that Hitler was untrustworthy. 
and would not keep his words therefore in the meantime stalin would work on strengthening his military to counter expected threat from hitler in the future on the other hand hitler signed this agreement because he thought that without soviet support britain and france would not feel strong enough to risk a war with germany he also wanted to avoid a war on two fronts he still intended to invade the ussr at later date this agreement would give him time to deal with the west first after the nazi soviet pact hitler turned towards his target poland the second world war began when germany invaded poland on 1st september 1939 britain and france had pledged to defend poland On 3rd September French and Britain government had declared war on Germany. Thus the deadliest war in the history of the world had broken out. <laughs>